Welcome to our one shot of Dishonored role playing game. It's supposed to be a one shot, it probably won't be. But this is titled The Duke's Masquerade. Not quite as good as Untitled or Titled Goose Game, but I couldn't think that was of a, a witty hit. thing. It was a hit. <laughs> Today we'll be joined yes, by. Yes, it was. Yeah, yep, we had our southerner. Today we're joined by Cam. James, Lily, Pale, and Rob. What's up? Shout out to my friends at the Marmite Preservation Society, the All Marmy Barmy Army. <laughs> <laughs> and then there is, of course, me as GM. Uh, I'll have a quick run through of stream guidelines first and safety rules we have in place. They have standard things, but I'll go through them anyway. And then I'll let the players introduce both themselves and their characters. And then we will no doubt cause chaos, or at least everyone else will. And I will use I'm that excited. to my advantage. I'm excited for the chaos. I've so, already caused chaos. <laughs> got some simple guidelines. And they're the same for both chat and players here. Be respectful, be nice. And I mean, I can't force you to have fun, but it would be appreciated. This is a relaxed atmosphere. We'll have a break every hour or so and run for about three hours. Uh, this is open door, so if needed, players and of course viewers too are able to step away from the game during play as well. The TTRPG safety toolkit we're using is a resource created by Kiana Shaw and Lauren Bright Monk. And it is a compilation of safety tools that have been designed by members of the tabletop role playing game community, used by players and GMs at the table and online. And the whole idea of it is so we all have a good time. And let me just quickly put the link in chat. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be surprised if we genuinely need them, but they're there just in case. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, we'll, we'll be making use of, say, the X card if needed. There's not explicitly any lines and veils in place, but your standard things are going to be fade to black or just not there. And uh, it's also worth mentioning, as you may have seen, we are using Web Captioner to provide further accessibility. Although on my camera, I do note it is a bit iffy because mine is super bright. So that's my own fault. It's uh, yellow. Well, it's not the yellow that's the problem. Oh. It's, it's the white. Oh, I didn't see that. Because it goes to yellow when you're talking. Mm. Yeah. Um, before we do start, I'd also say we probably won't interact with chat too much, but players are welcome, of course, to talk in the chat. Can't and, stop uh, us. I, I can't, no. <laughs> well, I could, could ban you from chat. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I'm a mod. How dare you? <laughs> I'm mod. And, uh, yeah, so players are aware, as with Drifter, there are some secrets. So be on the lookout for those. Maybe you'll find them. Maybe you won't. Yeah. TY again, everyone has wished me happy birthday so far. And uh, hope you enjoy the stream. Do the players now wish to introduce themselves? Jen's like, no. <laughs> no. Nah. Shut no. I'll do it. Fire Let's away. Go, Who are you, Rob? Hello, I'm back here. Um, hi, my name is Rob. Uh, <laughs> I am going to play a character called Igor Bor. He is very handy with a sword in hand. And he likes to spend his time in the tavern because that's where he gets all his bosses from, I guess. Because he's a hive blade, technically. So yeah, I will play as Igor Bor. Hi, Igor. <laughs> Hi, Igor. <laughs> Hi, Igor. <laughs> I can keep okay. going. Oh, Cam, shoot. Okay. Hello, my name is Cameron Harrison, and I will be playing the eccentric explosives expert Tannison is a bard Mordred Esquire <laughs> I love it it is definitely a mouthful right. uh, 
Are we going to keep going? It's called Revenge, J. Wall. It's called Revenge. There's no apostrophes, but you know. No no fucking apostrophes. You need to put about 20,000 apostrophes. Every other word. An apostrophe. That's what you need. I just wouldn't bother pronouncing your name ever. I mean... Would would you prefer Talison or would you prefer, like... Mr. Mordred, or what is your preferred? Talison is perfectly fine. Okay. James. What? Who are you? <laughs> I'm James. <laughs> Good job. And who are you playing? I'm James Corp, uh, and I'm playing Samuel Stone. Um, he's, he's probably the eldest in the group. He's about 49. Um... My my assumption is that he was in a war at some point. He was is a sniper for was a sniper for the army, and he saw things, and he's now suffering from PTSD, and he deals with that by drinking too much. Mm-hmm. Is that it? Is that what you want? Yeah, that's that's sufficient for the chaos. Lily. Jenny, you want to be last or second last? It's fine. Go. <laughs> I'm Lily. Um, is that enough about me? Lily. You tell I'm me. Lily. I'm from Sweden, so you can probably hear from my terrible English accent. Um, I'm playing May McCarthy, and it's currently storming outside of my window. I don't know if you can hear hear the hail coming. Oh, is that what we're hearing? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's hailing on my window and uh, thundering. So I'm setting the mood. Can you um, stop that then? Can you go out and tell the weather to stop? Stop no, howling. No, I stop like that Valkyrie, I, li- I like the mood. I like the mood. Uh, oh, it actually stopped now. Magic. Must be me. Must be me. <laughs> James, I'm impressed. <laughs> oh God, James is god of weather. That's concerning. I'm I'm playing May McCarthy. I was born into the upper class, but I like, I I disapprove with, with how my who my parents wanted me to be and how they wanted me to treat others. So I joined the army, where I like there was a bunch of corruption and stuff, and I disliked it. So I left there too after being, you know, manipulated to do stuff that I didn't want to do. And since then, I've been a sword for hire, and I was once hired by a. I want to say Eevee now, but Nevi. By Nevi. By the Pokemon. I then uh, spent time with for the first time, and I really, like, for the first time felt alive when I spent time with Nevi. So we are now living together. Um, very closely living together, and I'm my sole duty is to protect her. So that's Robert. me. And Pale. Me. Uh, Jen, Pale. That's me. Uh, I'm going to be playing Nevi. She's uh, Nevi Astley. She is 30 and she is a scholar. So she does a lot of research. She likes reading, you know, typical book nerd kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, she. Uh, did I hire you that one time? That one time. I think so. Yeah. yeah. And then it's just been fate ever since. She protects mm-hmm. me from all the trouble I get into. And I'm. So grateful for her. Mm-hmm. I really enjoy living with, with, with you. Yes. Very closely. Nice. Very closely. So, just to run over, what is everyone's archetypes again? So, Talison? Uh, Talison is a... Where the hell did I put it? Uh, it's on uh, the top of the cat sheet. I am a... About this dress. Ah. I am an inventor. Okay. Samuel? Uh, I am a sharp shooter. Okay. May? Duelist. Navy? Scholar. And Igor? I am a duelist. Fight me, bro. I will. We've got two duelists, so <laughs> does that set the tone? And a sharp shooter. So, and then an event with grenades. <laughs> yeah. Look, 
I was going to be an explorer, but I was told, no, you can't play an explorer. You won't I did not game. say you cannot That's play an explorer. True. I said play whatever you want, and you were like, nah. But you were like, you're not going to have fun if you're playing an explorer. Yeah, so pretty much don't play an explorer, James. You could still wear a hat. It's okay. No. No, you've ruined it. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> after he, after his character dies, he'll roll up an explorer. Oh, rage quit. Quit the, the table. Yeah, so let's just jump straight into Avenia. Yeah? Unless there's any yep. objections, anything else anyone wants to say? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you stop the weather, please? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't Should even I have that power, and I'm the one that controls chaos. The world. Should I have pushed a talk instead? No. no it's okay. It's no, okay. I'm, I'm joking. So, our intro. From sunny Karnaka, far to the south in Sokonos, to Samara and Wagon near frozen Tivia to the north, and everywhere between, the Empire of the Isles is a place full of opportunities for the ambitious, but marred by the suffering of the oppressed. From such places come notable people, people who have the drive to be more than they are, and resilience to withstand envious rivals and succeed where countless others have failed. You are each one of these people. This starts off where you all awaken to a loud bang before you. And upon opening your eyes, you realise you'd never actually gone to sleep. And the last thing any of you remember is strolling through the streets of Wagon in the evening, admiring the architecture, gazing up at the auroras above, and thinking you could each spend the rest of your days here. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem like it will be happening right now. The first thing you see is nothing. Your heads are covered. But what you do immediately notice is that neither your hands nor your legs are bound. Where are you? Why are you here? And who has done this? Hmm. Wait, so our faces are covered? Yep. Our eyes are covered? I immediately call out, Nevi? Nevi? You, you can is that you, me? Yeah? Who's uh, there? Can, can I take off the band? Yeah. Hmm? So, so they were like sacks on your head. Oh. Okay, I have to, I have to, I have to take it off. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, a band. <laughs> is, is everyone going to take them off? Like, you, you all have pretty much awoken at the same time. People, Igor has went blind. <laughs> Go on without me. Um, You're not yeah, blind, I'll take, you daft bugger. I'll, I'll I'll take the sack off off my head, and I'm gonna um I'm gonna lick my lips to see if there's any residue of what's been used to like knock us out. Oh. There is nothing on your lips. Like, is there any smell it, that's still? Is there any to still ingest anything? Okay. Well, they might have, like put something around. You know. Well. Covered the face. When you do take the sacks off, you see sitting on the table in front of you, one foot up, almost as if posing for a silver graph, is a figure you had only seen on wanted posters. It is Dowd, is it otherwise known as the Knife of Dunwall. What is he doing in Wagon? Why is he taking your captive? And who has he done this for? So, just a little bit of background on Dowd. So you know that Dowd is a contract assassin and the leader of a group of like-minded individuals named the Whalers, or at least he was. Nobody has seen Dowd for over 15 years, with many suspecting he was killed by the royal protector, Corvo Tano, due to his assassination of the late Empress Jessamine Caldwin. It's clear, however, he doesn't want you five dead, otherwise you would already be. There are too many heads for one contract. I don't think they want they, he wants to kill us. Do we know who he we know who he is then, but you we've never met we've him. Never before. met Dowd, but you recognize him from the wanted posters. Have we met each other before? You tell me. Well, May and Nevi know each other because we live together. Mm. I don't know about anybody else. Uh Igor probably knows May. Because mm -hmm. of the contract work, as you know, 
Iron Blades and Mm -hmm. Assassins. I would imagine that is uh, that Talison knows Nevi because scholar and inventor working together. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Working on some experiments together. Yes. And now you can get Samuel in. Samuel, how do we know you? Uh, I don't know. Would you? I mean, I'm... yeah. No, I, I don't know. Um, are you uh like a guard for hire or a sharp uh, like assassin? Probably, yeah. I'm probably like I'm probably hired by like um, yeah. I'll probably do like paid jobs. Yeah, because um, I use a sword for hire. So and hmm. Rob is a sword for hire. So we probably know each other from work. Yeah. Three uh, I'm more of a sh- shot for hire. I, 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 yeah. I, you know, I get close and personal. I try and do it from afar. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so well, you're all in Wagon at the time of your abduction by Dowd. And it doesn't, I mean, you don't really know the time, but it doesn't seem like it was that long ago. But you don't really know, mm-hmm. you don't know where you are. Is there when I. More? Oh. Lily? Windows? There's no windows. So I'm gonna oil lamp So I'm gonna t- so is this it's not a statue, it's a person. It is no, like so a, a, the living form of Dow, yeah? He, he he's he's currently looking at some notes he has. And once you've all removed your sacks that are on your head, mm-hmm. he looks up and says, Ah, you're awake. Good. Apologies for our like... under these circumstances. I had to make sure we could talk in private about prying eyes. Who's uh, prying I'll... eyes? Mm-hmm. I'm also going to say I thought you was brown bread, mate. Numerous parties. Brown bread? What does that mean? I, I am alive in the flesh. Brown bread means dead. I I knew that. (laughs) Well, this is a pleasant surprise, considering everything. So what do we have the pleasure of being introduced to the assassin, the Empress? So, he says, I followed each of you during your time here in Wagon, and I've learned a lot about what makes each of you tick. Your skills are quite notable, if not in some cases unrefined. But he doesn't look at anyone in particular. Excuse me, sir. That is rude. It was an accident, I swear. I'll get straight to the point. I've been many... I've been having many nightmares of late. As you may know, I was marked long ago by the outsider, as I believe... One of you also was. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. That, that's nods. not true. That's not true. And I wish to finally find a cure, you could call it, to raise with my ailments. I can't explain why I need you to do what I'm about to ask, but know that you'll be handsomely rewarded for your cooperation. Why would I do something without knowing why? Why would we do it for you? I'll do it as long as my the person that paid me says so. You must be bread and butter, mate. I mean, he he's, he has said that you'll be handsomely rewarded. Like, I've got enough meat. D- Dowd is not generally someone that you'd probably want to get on the wrong side of. He murdered the last empress. What happened? Refuse. We end up becoming, as my friend over there said, brown bread. That's not very pleasant, is it? No, so... He he shakes his head. I have no desire for any bloodshed, either in this task that I present for you, or here. But I trust that this will be mutually beneficial. Look, mister. I never start a new contract when I already have a contract on the works. But 
if my player <laughs> says okay, <laughs> I'm down for leaving and getting more money. <laughs> so he's thinking for a second. He pulls up, so he he gets up, moves over to a chest you see he has next to the table, and lifts it onto the table. Opens up, and beckons you to come have a look. All of us? I just... Oh, look. I, I go have a look. <laughs> I go have a look. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I go so... look, but I stand slightly in front of Nibi. <laughs> so, within the chest, you see it is a massive cash of coin. 10,000 to be exact. Oh. And you also see forged papers of all types for every class of wealth. That should... I'm going to be... So, I'm going to be like... I'm going to be like, so, what lemon and lime do you want us to do? I like the theme with all the food. So... There is a peculiar device in the possession of Duke Luca Abel of Sokonos. A timepiece. But not the traditional kind you're probably familiar with. Obtain this for me. Preferably without being noticed. And as said, long since past my days of bloodshed. So I prefer as little conflict as possible involved in this item's recovery. That seems... Sorry. Sorry, May, you go first. No, 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 Nibi. I could never interrupt you. That seems quite, um, the contrast to, well, not to be rude, but what you're known for. A lot has happened in these 16 years. Mm Mm-hmm. Also, you say that you have the outsider's mark. Yes. Show it. He shows you his hand. Okay. I take off my glove and I I show him mine as well. Mm -hmm. And I say, I I don't know how I can help you in this uh, adventure project finding the lost and found. I'm not sneaky. All I know how to do is talk. That could be perfect for this. You you were all chosen for your unique set of skills. Although some loud ones could be less useful here. What do you mean loud? <laughs> they, yeah. Uh, can be a little bit messy. And that's not what we want to have happen. <laughs> Staring at Talison. Oh. If you had wanted my help, you should have checked. You see my expertise. Which is why I know that you are an accomplished inventor. And so I yes. trust that you will not need to use grenades unless absolutely necessary. Very well. I shall restrain Tell- myself. Tell us more about the item you want us to get. It is a timepiece, as I'd said. A timepiece? What do you mean? A watch. A clock? A time-travelling machine? Not as such. An hourglass. What do you mean? We know what it is. It is more akin to what Navy had said. Time travel. I've read about such things, but I didn't think that they actually existed. This is a remarkable curiosity. Mm. Said to be from the outsider himself. And you need this for what purpose? That is for me to know. Um... I want to use my um, ability. Ooh. What ability? Uh, Let me grab it. I'm going to use my eye within. 
And okay. I would like to learn of his intention. His intention? With the time machine. Okay, so that will cost you one void point. Yep. And you do not need to roll for this, do you? Nope. Okay, so... Just having a quick read of it. Mm -hmm. So you can sense that he desires to use this timepiece as a means to kill the outsider. Oh. Okay. Is there anything else I can glean from reading his he intentions? He has suffered for a long time at the hands of the Outsider. And mm. these nightmares have not helped his opinions towards them. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So what, what, what sort of job are you on? A, a pebble dash? <laughs> if you will. Nice. Are you gonna not communicate to us something, maybe, with what you learned? I don't say it to you guys, I just say I know what it is you actually want. He nods. True love. Nice. So I, ha I have a lore, I have a lore question about the system. Okay. Is the outsider, well, it's actually kind of a stupid question. You can't just say, are they bad or are they good, but... Are they bad or are they good? The outsider's intentions are... Chaos? No. It's whatever he pretty much wants. So, would... Say, say he did manage to kill the outsider, does that mean that the void powers disappear? No. Not no. necessarily. Okay. Right. Mm. Well, sir, can we have a moment to think about this? He leaves the room to give you all some time. Leaves for chest in there. Oh. I want to walk up to the chest and inspect the coins. Yes, they would inspect. Okay, the coins. okay. <laughs> they, are, they are definitely real coins. And I the forgeries? Sure it's definitely real. The forged papers are... I mean, I suppose, to you, at, at a glance, they look like official documentation. Okay. For There's nothing wrong with them. Okay. But what are they, like, what is it exactly? Like, uh, nobility kind of forgeries? There's or like, papers for that every class of wealth. So, whoever you want to impersonate. Oh. To get in. To oh. be able to do his task. So he didn't oh. actually go into describing what the task was. <laughs> oh, apart from okay. Stealing. Well, he said about stealing it from the Duke, but mm -hmm. he didn't go into detail of mm -hmm. how you can do that. All right. Well, I, 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 say, I, say, I, say, I say, I say to the rest of the group, I think he wants us to impersonate people hmm. to get this timepiece, as he so calls it. And um, I know what he wants to do with it. And what's I that? think there'll be I think there'll be a high amount of Stuart going on. What? I said I think there'll be quite a bit of Stuart going on. Stuart? Stew, as in Stuart. yum, you eat it. As no, as in Stuart Granger. Oh, I knew that. I don't know. <laughs> the cockney is not helping. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that from her experience the bigger the pay the bigger the conscience afterwards I mean you like he's asking to steal from the Duke of Sakonis like the guy that runs mm -hmm. the place <laughs> yeah I don't mind doing that I'm just wondering if it's gonna have some big negative shit consequences I mean he did say like no bloodshed yeah. I go up to the coins. 
Why? Why would he ask me then? That makes no sense. Perhaps can I can I call him back skills. in? I'm gonna call him back in. I'm still near the coins. I'm not gonna move away from the coins. <laughs> what was his yeah. name? Dowd. Dowd. Dowd, come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Open the door. It's not a door. Maybe. So have you considered? I think I'll do it. I hold my hand out. You can expect me to do this. My payer said she's doing it, so I'm doing it as well. May? Yeah. Are you gonna I'm... do it? I trust your judgment, maybe. Okay, well that's questionable, but okay. <laughs> Very questionable. <laughs> and Samuel? Hmm. Well, um, sure. I don't mind going on a cruise. Mm -hmm. Very good. You get a lot of money too. Plus, I think the Duke deserves a little setback. Though, we do need some more details. I happen to see all these forgeries here. How exactly do you want us to do this? Without bloodshed, of course. So he hands you the notes he was previously looking at, looking over. There okay. is a floor plan of the Grand Palace where the Duke resides. Okay. And you've heard from the stories like this is not the traditional kind of palace. This is a modern take on a palace. Modern? Out of character wise, this is straight up like a Tony Stark mansion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. So um, you mean like you mean high tech or just modern looking? Modern looking primarily. Okay, yeah. But yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, in a month's time is the Duke's masquer uh, Masquerade Ball, and this would be the perfect opportunity to sneak in unnoticed. How you do uh -huh. this is entirely up to you. The only requirement is no killing, if at all possible. This event in particular is a special one, so it would be well guarded, but I can't wait mm -hmm. any longer than this for what I need. Do this for me and you shall each receive... The contents of this chest, split between you, and also an item that will prove personally valuable to each of you. Oh. And I trust that you are all capable of this task. Questionable, again, but okay. <laughs> if I will get a higher cut, I will probably do well. Yeah. I guess we can find and... do that trick we've been talking about, maybe. Oh yeah, that would be really nice. Mm. I mean, I'm in. Stealing from the rich. If she's in, I'm in. Eat the rich. <laughs> <laughs> I would not recommend doing that. However, 2,000 coin. Always welcome to the family treasury. I'm in. So he, he does look at the um, notes he'd given you and he looks at the forged papers and says... I'm quite prone to the Grand Guard. But it's your choice. Your what? He's suggesting that you impersonate the Grand Guard. Who would be the ones guarding mm -hmm. the estate. Ah. I mean, I mean, look, look at me. I don't look like I'm a guard. I Just for believe. reference, Nevi is like slim, looks like she doesn't eat very much, and has like really dark circles under her eyes from all the reading. How long we got? How long we got till we got to do this job? One month. It's a month, but it will well, take you a while to travel give, 
I'm sure we can get you some dinners. That's not what I mean. I mean, no. I don't look like a guard. I don't have muscles. I'm a tawny yeah. little sure. bookworm. Maybe, maybe we could go to a tailor's and get you a, a suit made up that makes you look like you got um, some um, a muscle meat to suit. your bone. A yeah. muscle suit. Yeah. Like, you can put some stuffing in or stuff like that, right? I think like, maybe... I I'll look at the inventor. I'll go. I'm sure. I'm sure this fellow here could whip up something. It's a masquerade, right? Can she as impersonate a guest? That, that means we gotta take option. somebody out. Mm. And Not right. necessarily. Not necessarily. Nobility from all around fine. have been invited. Yes. All right. You could well. take. Yeah, you could pretend to be someone else. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm in. Give us the documents. Help us plan it. Yes. Okay. Correct. So... Yeah, he, he gives you the chest. He gives you all his notes. You basically have everything you need there. And he just says... I will be in contact again once you've completed the mission. And he just casually walks out. Leaving and the chest? Yeah. And he lets you walk freely as well. So we have payment before we do the mission? Yep. Hmm. Interesting. That we don't even have to do it then. Motivation. No. We don't but... have to do it. <laughs> do you want to go down? Do you want to go down? No. We said we will. Yeah. I we would not signed the contract. Yes. We did sign I would not contract. recommend getting on this man's bad side, lest we end up like the last empress. May she rest in peace. But the coin is us for ours to use it to prepare. You can use it for whatever yes. you want. Mm. You, you get the feeling <laughs> the coin's intended to like help with like if you need any disguises or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And you, you'll be able to find all of those plentiful in Konarka. Well, we can just grease a few palms. Yes. All right. So well, it'll be I, very easy. Am, to I, am, I, am I like not making any sense? No. He uh, makes sense to me, but that's yeah. It's the the accent is too heavy. Just a bit. <laughs> or slow it right. slow it down a little bit. But yeah, um, it yeah, slow it down. Just a bit. So we're heading to Kanasa? Kanaka. So can everyone see the map Kanaka. on row 20? Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Mm -hmm. So we're up here in Samara, right? Currently you're at Wagon. Wait, I'm Wagon. Oh, fuck, like we are far. Where? You see the top left. All the way up here. Oh, you know, if you do, oh, that's where if we you are. Do, if you do shift click, you can actually get fo people focused on the map. Where you, if you ping it, no, it's I okay. It's I see it. It's all the yeah. way in the top left. So that's where we are. And You're currently we're awake, on yeah. You've been doing sightseeing. North you've been doing various west. things. And you're going to be going all the way down to the bottom. To where? Karnaka. Karnaka. Oh shit. So the boat right. journey is going to take a bit of time anyway. Okay, well, um, oh. I ask uh, May to um, carry the the chest of all the gold. Mm -hmm. Aren't we going to divide it between us all? Yes, all right, we right. should do that. Yes, 2,000 each would be the fair thing you, to do. You do notice in the papers that he gave you as well, there is a charter for the next ship that will be making sail. To Kanaka. Hmm? Oh, okay. When? Wait, how much Tomorrow. gold per person do we have? Two k. Well, information. Two thousand. I mean, how, each. how, um, how popular, like, how much information will this place have on where we're going? Like, they wouldn't have like maps and shit, would they? We'd have to wait till we get to the actual city before we start doing anything serious. What of what, like, the, the Grand Palace, you mean, or...? Yeah, like the palace. So, so, like so he, he gave palace. you a floor plan of the, the um, Grand 
crap. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, we can. Well, we can. We can start like looking at, like. Yes, I uh, will be studying those the very strategy. carefully. My suggestion is that the scholars of us, the more, more intellectually gifted of us, study the map. Maybe we can devise a plan. Are you saying I am dumb? Yes. No, I, no I'm we are not saying you are dumb. We are saying that you are not as smart as Nevi. I'm saying you're very... Fair enough. Like... I am paid for my sword, not my brain. And I'm you're paid for my brain. Your muscles, though. But well, you I, pay I... me for my sword. I hand out the split money, and I look to see when the next uh, ship is going. Tomorrow. And uh, is it tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. And then I say, well, we should meet up um, before the ship goes, go home, pack up our stuff, whatever we need, and uh, meet up tomorrow. Yeah. Do whatever preparations you need to do. Mm -hmm. Sharpen your blades. It, I don't know. Is there anything anyone actually wants to do before heading to Konarka? Or do you want to just do it from there? How long's the journey? How long's the journey? The journey is probably... At least a week. Maybe All right, one, I'm gonna maybe buy. Two. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy about seven bottles of decent like uh, whiskey. Okay. Let's gather for whiskey and cigars tonight. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, I do. I do have. That... We that? need to buy. If we're gonna impersonate guards, we need to buy like their costumes. Yeah, which, which we would probably, probably which would be best to do there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. oh. hmm. We would know that it's a tropical territory, yes? Compared yeah, to what is presumably the you're freezing like north. familiar with Kanaki. You may not have been there, but you're familiar with the place. Oh, is it a hot? Is it a hot climate, tropical climate? Is that it's what you're saying? It's considered the jewel of the south. That's what it's called. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'll buy, I'll buy a... a I'm going to buy a, like a Hawaiian t shirt then, you know. <laughs> Go in. I will and, buy and some sandals. I'll buy some mm -hmm. sandals as well, but I'll make sure I've got socks to wear with those sandals. I will make sure my summer clothing is properly ironed. Mm -hmm. I mean, during the voyage, you can definitely get whatever you want there. So. Yes. Yeah. So, shall we skip forward to Kanaka? Mm -hmm. I'd say so. Yeah, yep. so well, I guess the, the journey, journey for me, the, the journey for me, the journey feels straightforward because I'm out of it. You're just most of it. the whole time, yeah. <laughs> is this a steamship or is it a sailing ship? It is a steamship. In that case, I will occasionally be, I will make friends with the chief engineer and ask for permission to see the bowels of the ship. Gives you permission. There's nothing remarkable about the ship that you can see. It, it looks it's a bit like it's it's not been upkept that well. Maybe you Fairly spend a bit of time just like improving it, fixing it up a bit yeah. while you're down there. Get like an extra half a day out of it. Yeah. Yeah, so you sail to Kanaka and let's change the map. Mm hmm. Um, just a question again, out of uh, out of character. Mm -hmm. How did I get void points back? Say if you find a shrine or. Okay, so they don't like come back naturally. No. Okay. And can everyone hear the music? Yes. Yeah. No, because I can't seem to hear music at all at the moment on Roll Twenty. Very nice. Nice. I will let this play to the end. Just so I can hydrate. <laughs> and you can think about what you're going to do in Konaka. I mean, we have to somehow get the guards' attire. Well, there's a. There's gonna there's gonna be a few ways we could do that. Knock a couple out. 
But we could but then do we'd that. Have that, to, that, that like, might draw that might draw attention, or we could find out where the guard uniform is made, made, mm -hmm. and pay it by pay them off. Are the guards uniform given to us by Dodd already, or do we have to acquire them? We have to acquire it. Well, we can deal with that. We can make a uh, a. Uh, how do you call it when you set up a trap and somebody comes and you catch them and then we can steal the clothes? But Diversion. Like, but if a an ambush, yes. Thing, if four guards suddenly or five guards suddenly went missing, that would attract some attention. Well, we don't need those that many guards because our uh, but our uh, player right here, she's not gonna be a guard. She's gonna be one of we the... Have, we haven't decided yet. Yes. Um, I mean, I don't think you will. Okay, you, you do you, but uh, you, you're, you're my boss. I mean, if we're going to point things out, you're not going to fit with that giant mustache. <laughs> the only one that looks like I'm not going to fit because I'm too old. I don't know about Miss... Uh, Miss May over there. The only one that looks like a proper soldier is Mr. Stone. Excuse me. Wow. You're excused. That's I am. very rude of you. Are you saying that the ex-soldier doesn't look like a soldier? I know I, I got a bit more kilos. A at one point. Yes, I was. Now you are. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> I'm going to pull out my hip flask and take a swig and put it back. Can I look over the forgeries? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there like, are there like personality, like and identities in there or? So yeah, you look at them and none of them appear to be real individuals. Okay. So you're not actually going to be impersonating okay. anyone else, right. but you'll impersonate but the a documents, role. But the documents are real enough that we'd be let in. From what I'd you can see in. at a glance, they look mm -hmm. pretty mm -hmm. much spot on. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Do they have names or is it just ours? So there's no names on them at the moment. But there is a second, well, not sec there's a separate uh, piece of documentation, which it just has an address on it, and it does actually have written on it names. And you get the idea that this would be a forger in Karnaka that can uh... add the names on for you. Great. Mm -hmm. May thinking that she she is very used to these events from her childhood. And could probably just impersonate like some noble upper class person as a guest. But I guess we have do we have free roam of like the place if we've we not done anything wrong right. or if as guests. You could mm. pretty much go where you want in Kanaka, but the actual masquerade ball will be mm -hmm. at Point Abel Grand Palace. Yeah, but inside the palace. Do you think would you... it would have freer, like, rain as guards or as guests? Probably. That's a you... question to the group. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I think that would make up our decision about what to do. So, as we're, I'd like, say... talking over oh. ideas, the ship captain comes up and um, says, we're almost coming into port now. You are aware of the recent escalations in Karnaki, yes? No. no. Escalations. So, people have noticed as of late that the Duke has been exhibiting different behaviour to what he's known for, in a good way. Hmm. He seems to be more compassionate now. And huh. the parties he's been throwing are no longer the debauchery-based sort he's been known for. And, uh... The reason 
for this ball in particular is it's in honour of the promotion of Liam Byrne into the position of High Overseer after the late Yul Kalan met his untimely demise by Delilah Copperspoon who tried to overthrow the throne. Delilah Copperspoon? I like it. <laughs> Copperspoon. Um, but yeah, so there's tensions around the fact that up until recently, Paolo, the leader of the Howlers, had been working in cooperation, surprisingly, with the Duke and Liam to make Karnaka and the whole of Sokonos a better place. But now that oh. Liam's being promoted, Paolo won't abide with that anymore. And the Howlers gang are back in conflict with the Overseers. Hmm. Okay, so they used to be in a collaboration? Uh, for a brief while. When the, the Duke started the exhibiting Duke. the strange behaviour, yeah. they started to cooperate. But now that Liam's being promoted, Paolo does not like that because it will give Liam pretty much control to do what he wants. So the overseers are effectively above the Grand Guard. They okay. enforce the law of the Empire, I suppose, in a way. They believe that like, the void is heresy, using it as heresy. You can't worship it, and they'll imprison and probably execute anyone that does use it. The o the overseers yes. think this. Right, okay, yep. Good to know. Hmm. Interesting. And you said there's a gang that's out not happy with this, yeah? Yeah, so Paolo, who runs the Howlers gang, he's not happy how with How powerful being... so how... How powerful is the Howler gang? They've been in conflict with the Overseers for quite a while before. And the Overseers weren't really... They weren't succeeding. The Howlers pretty much locked off an entire district. Mm. How friendly are they to, like, out people not from around these parts? It probably is... I mean, from what you know about Paolo's beliefs, he believes in... Giving power to the people. Oh. Paolo. Paolo, yes. The gang. So what? So so we could potentially we could potentially turn the gang against this against the palace. Wait, what's the conflict here? Why is this gang so angry? <laughs> because they're because... giving power to someone they don't want. Yeah. To be in power. So there's a bit of a power struggle going on. And if we could uh if we could potentially like Mo try most and, like, people fear the stage overseas. it. We could stage it so that, you know the the howlers somehow get access to this party. Maybe, you know, get them in somehow, maybe get them in as like servants or something, I don't know, whatever there whatever is a good chance if you let the howlers in, there will be bloodshed. But would it be? But we wouldn't have. We wouldn't have made. We wouldn't be us directly it will still responsible cause chaos. for the bloodshed. It will still be bloodshed, and I do not appreciate that. Mm. It, just for a system perspective, a murder is roughly equivalent to giving me five chaos. Mm. I start the game with ten because there's five players. Great. It, and the more chaos I get, the more like bonuses I can give NPCs. Or mm. really, well, make things chaotic. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, uh, I guess I thank the, the, the captain for the information. And, uh, yeah. Wait for the ship to get to land. Thank you very much, Captain. Your information has proven most interesting. Are we taken all the way into Karnaka? Yeah, like you, into you the take, harbor? Yeah, you're taken fully in. Like, it's not as if you're trying to sneak going in. There's, well, there's, yeah, no. There's um, no reason to not just visit Kanaka because everyone loves Kanaka yeah. pretty much. Um, 
I ask the ship captain if he knows of any um, decent lodging areas. Because we'll need so, a place to stay. Yeah, so he uh, says, oh, don't you have somewhere already? Well, and um, we? he he glances, just popping out of your pocket, is <laughs> documentation which also covers hotel stay. Oh, oh wow. wow! Oh, okay. In the, oh. he notices the emblem on it is one in the palace district. Sorry. Oh, well, I, I must have forgotten about that. Uh... Well, as long as I can find a decent water in order to get sco scotch mist, I'll be fine. <laughs> I hear they have the finest alcohol in the Empire. That's good, then. The things we do for security. Am I right, Captain? <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah, so is there anything you want to do before heading? No, I don't think so. I'll probably just look around and see what type of people they are, like, in this yeah. they, they look like you normal every day. They look a lot happier than what you would have seen in Dunwall. Mm. I'm going to get Oliver Twist while mm. I'm uh, before I do anything else. May is considered... Hey, is it possible to join the guard? Like, I, I mean, it's like... Three yes, weeks until it starts. But I assume that you would have to go through training, and training would take a lot of time. I already went through the training. Yeah. They would probably insist that you redo it again. Like, could it, could just, do we have any documents that could say, like, oh, I served as a guard at this other place, and now as I'm moving here, I want a new So job. there is documentation for transferred guards. That's, uh... There we that go. We could, there we have time. Hmm. Well, um, I actually would like to, um... So, would I know of any places that were more likely to have, um... <coughs> what was it? Where I could gain void, um, knowledge? Shines? So, Shines. you'd have to... This is like the one thing I didn't put into my cheat sheet. Um, uh, oh. <laughs> generally, it'll be like if you stum if you stumble upon a shrine dedicated to the outsider, you may gain like void points. You may gain oh. runes, bone charms, okay. perhaps. Okay. Can I look around the ship before yeah. we head into the port or into yeah. the harbor? Yeah. I just want to look around and see what's on the ship. Anything Anywhere interesting? Anywhere you heard in particular. Um, into the, like, what do you call it? The little cabins? What are they called? Hitter. Oh, yeah, oh. hut? No, like... Can't you say huts? No, it's not hut if it's in a ship. Oh, the cabin. Cabin? The ship. cabin. Okay, yeah, just, just call it a cabin. Yeah, I'm just going to yeah. take a look around in the cabins. And then, is the captain still up? Yeah, he's upstairs. Well, you, you each had your own yeah. cabins. The captain has his own cabin. Can I yeah. see if I can... Is the captain's lodging um locked? It is unlocked. Okay. I'm gonna... Very sneakily... Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Um, I'm gonna carefully move into the captain's lodging. Okay. Ooh, okay. Do I need to roll for that? Yep. Okay. As soon as you said you're doing it carefully. <laughs> right, yeah, okay. <laughs> so. Uh, carefully. Move carefully? Yeah, or... I think so. Perhaps study. Mm, not sure. I think that's when you get inside. Yeah. Move carefully. Yeah, because that's what you got to open or the door quietly. first. And it might, like, creak. Or... Quietly, right? Yeah, no, move uh, carefully. I don't have quite. I don't want to use quietly. Oh, is there a careful? Oh, it is. Yeah. Huh. And you got. Is that oh. one or two successes? 
zero, so. right? Because you need to get eight and you got ten is your loss. Zero. Okay, so you have a four in move and a four in carefully, yeah? Uh, wait a second. Boldly is five. Oh, four is carefully. Oh, never mind. Whoops. Guess it didn't matter. I could have chosen quietly. Yeah, so it's you needed to be an eight. You um got no successes. Wait, it says a ten. Yeah, you need to you get six. Lower. Oh wait, sorry, I was looking at Rob's. Uh, whoops. Whoa. Okay, so I failed. Yeah, so you go to like open the door and it just like creaks like, eh, and you, you like hear the a really depressed sounding door. Like, you hear that, but nothing seems to happen. He Don't doesn't come running nothing. downstairs. Well, he's, he's not going to know what door got opened, is he? Okay. Then we uh, might, but I go inside. Okay, you walk inside. What are we going to mm -hmm. do? I'm going to look around for things. See if there's okay. anything that I could use in here. Okay, so you look around and one thing immediately catches your eye. Okay. He has a bookshelf and it has a strange object carved of whalebone. And you recognize this to be a rune. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna take it. You just snatch up his rune, okay? Yeah. Wow, what, what, what fucking tea leaf. <laughs> so you can use runes to learn new powers. I love it you literally have 2k gold and you're like, let me steal stuff. <laughs> Rich, I should just steal this shit. gonna steal it. The thing Wait, is, no. Uh, th no, the thing is about Nevi, she doesn't care about gold unless it's, you know, like to live comfortably. But she cares about the, like, interesting things like void lore, runes, history. That's her thing. So money doesn't really matter to her. Yeah. If it makes May happy, then that's fine. But, <laughs> like. Oh, but May doesn't want money either. She just wants well, money. It makes Sigurd happy. need the money then. <laughs> So, you pick up this rune, yes? Yes. Yeah, so you pick it up. It is quite hefty. It's made of whalebone. You notice the inscriptions upon it. Mm hmm It's nothing incredibly intricate, but it's got, like, a spiralling, like, swirl on it. Okay. Do I know what it is? What it's it stands for? Um. No. It, you recognise it as... A symbol of the void. But a, a rune generally. A rune gives you access to greater power, it doesn't explicitly give you p access to specific power. Okay. But, so oh. when we did your character, this is GM thing, um, mm -hmm. we didn't actually decide what extra abilities you wanted to be able to gain access to later. Oh, yeah, that's but right. But I'll, I'll let you pick what you want because it's one shot. Okay. If you wanted to take something that cost one point, you could do that now, or you could wait if until to see if you get more runes. Um, I'll example, probably hold on to it for now. What if you? Because but... you have access to the. Um, I within. I within right now. Some of the abilities that cost one rune to learn, if you wanted to, are uh, blink, does what it says on the tin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, far reach. Which pulls something towards you. Mm -hmm. uh, fog cooler, you can call fog. Uh, fawns, uh, if you shoot fawns. Wait, so the blink means that I could like blink around a corner. You can traverse short distances in an instant, vanishing from one spot and appearing in another. You mu uh, may select any point nearby which you can see. Okay. You have to be able to see yeah. it, but you can. Okay. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna take that. Okay. I'll paste the uh, text for that into row 20 if you want to copy paste it. Mr. GM? Yeah. Yes. When are we taking our first break? We will take it now. <laughs> Great. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. TY Pete for watching. Yeah. Back soon. And we are back. 
So, what do you want to do? Uh, have we stopped? Yeah. Arrived? Was she? Yeah, so you, you, you've arrived now at Konaka. <coughs> mm. uh, quick question. What was the captain's name? Kevin. It's Bob. What's his I... life? Does he have a... <laughs> his name was Hoyt Morris. Hoyt Morris. Okay. I didn't just go to the name generator and just pull one up. No, 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 no. Never. What's Hoyt's backstory, j you, you got to ask him about that. Oi, Hoyt, what's your deal, mate? <laughs> do, do you want to know the backstory? <laughs> <laughs> yes. He was orphaned when he was four years old. Aww. Left in a gutter. <laughs> Only the sea was his mother. He didn't. He didn't want to make a name for himself. But he just wanted to survive. And eventually, he came Spaces. to be under the employ of another captain who took him in. What was the name of that captain? The name of that captain Jeff. was Hisham Hotty. Hotty. Bless you, honey. <laughs> okay, would not be right for Hoyt to say. Did they have a romantic encounter on the sea? Did, what, a four-year-old and a... No! <laughs> when he was old... When Hoyt was older. He, he is married to the sea. I like how you go like this. Considering the fact that in the Discord chat you are deliberately to the right of me, and then in the this in the stream I am below you. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I have to look this way. Well, um, yes. I guess if I manage to slip out without being noticed with my bone charm, um... yeah, you just <laughs> smuggle it into your bag. Great. I thank the captain kindly for the mm -hmm. joyous uh, travels. <laughs> and, uh... You just stole from an orphan. What can I, I say? Thank the captain. I'll say, tell me, Captain uh, Morris, obviously we are new to the city. Where would be the best place, perhaps, to acquire items for defense? You yourself have said that this city, unfortunately, is undergoing some minor strife. And oh, you, sh you shouldn't need better. to worry about that. The Howlers... I, I believe the Howlers are doing what they believe to be best. I don't necessarily disagree with them. And they, they won't hurt the common folk. Their grievances you know? are purely with the overseers. Better to be safe than sorry. You never know. Some people might take these howlers name in vain uh well when you say that i lean in and i said do you know how you could get in contact with um the howlers perhaps do you ask the captain this with the howlers yeah maybe isn't that the opposite side of who we should be getting in contact with i'm a curious woman I would like to her, know... She was kicked in the head by a horse at a young age. She so so, so you, you are asking the captain how to contact the Howlers. Can I not do that? Yeah, oh, I mean, it, it says, yeah, I mean, they, they operate out of the dust district. Okay, If you Thank just you. head there, you'll pretty much see a Howler on every corner. What's your personal opinion on, on this conflict? Captain? Don't like to get political. A good, a smart me, man. Me and the sea, that's ever. all I care about. You, sir, are the smartest man I have ever met. He's joking. He's actually talking about me. I do not joke, sir. Anyway, I'm going to go find a woman now, so see you later. Yes, let us check in at this hotel and then we shall see if perhaps they have a map fed. Yeah, there's a uh, so like there's a bar in the hotel if you wanted to. Oh, awesome! I don't have to travel that far. No. Is it all inclusive? Yeah. 
Oh, Dowder's he has hooked you up. He's given you all this money. He's given you his, his papers. He's hooked you up in a very nice hotel in the Palace District. Let's go. I slip, yeah. ten co I slip 10 coin to the bartender. Keep him. Keep my friend over there nice and watered. No, of, of, of course, sir. Where's the palace district? So, the palace district is just. So, you see where Point Abel is? There. Yeah. It is basically. Right, let me zoom in on mine. I would imagine about here. Yeah, it's about there. But what I can do. No. I switch you over to the Palace District. Oh. I've got to use it back. Not very big. Doesn't need to be. It, it's it's one district. Oh, yeah, so. Number four on there. In fact, it says on the top right what each thing is. Four is the Grand Palace. So your hotel is probably, let's say it's that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I say we start by like checking the hotel, then maybe investigate a little bit of what's going on, what's the conflict, and then maybe a few of us or all of us sign up with the guards with the papers. When we did sign up with guards, it may take some time for us to get through any well, of the you, training. You, you have paperwork for. Like transfer we transfer yeah, we're transferring. Oh, okay. Yes, but they mm, are they going to give us uniforms, or would we have to supply our own? We can, can ask them what. Okay. They, they, they would, yeah. they would, would supply we... it for you. Yeah. So where is the guard post? So it is right up next to the uh, carriage stop. So it is about. Right there, that one. So it's not too far from where you are. Um, Nevi says uh, to the, to all of them, I say we um, unpack our stuff and go get our papers handed in as quickly as possible in case it takes some time. They will insist, will they not insist on us staying in the barracks? Hmm. That's a possibility. They might say that they need to process our papers first. And we could always say that we're sightseeing a bit. Yeah. The military... How good... How structured is the military? Relatively, but... The... Forgeries on your paperwork are sufficient... That... They are stamped with... Like a swift transfer notice. <clears throat> so they will process your transfer pretty much immediately which means but you that doesn't mean you need to back. transfer in immediately like yeah they'll give you a couple of days to like move your belongings and all that mm -hmm. but you'll become yeah. part of them straight away yeah that works fine then. um do we need to go to the forger to get like our names on the paper first or yes, yes. Both? yes. Ah. we don't have to do it, it would be a bit be awkward. First. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, my question is, are all of us going to become guards or are some of us going to try and slip into the party as nobles? I'm going to think that... I think that guards I... will get in easier into the areas that we need to get into because the guards are there to keep the people from, you know, going into restricted areas, right? Yeah, but once you're here, the problem with going with the guard route, though, once you're here, like, directed to guard nowhere near the target, hmm. we could be sent to the other side of the... We could be, yeah. el we could be sent elsewhere. I would suggest maybe two of us, and I look towards Nevi. Maintain our noble status 
and you three, after your investigations, and what not had in your swift transfer papers. I'm not leaving me this side. It's okay, me. It's okay. No, no. You will no. only be leaving her for maybe two days. No. It's gonna Do be okay, me. Do anything could happen. It's gonna be okay. Who's gonna protect you? What if, what if someone tried to mug you? I can protect myself. You know that we've been practicing. Okay. I'm gonna Maybe laugh at this. Tough, but she's sulking. She's standing in a corner and sulking. Like, sighing heavily. So Samuel's over there drinking Art and just crack. laughing to himself. Mm hmm Like a madman. Now, see. It is better that two of us perhaps are visible, at least for a time, so as to give the illusion that we are not involved. That way, our disappearance from the party could be registered simply to tiredness, or maybe we've skulked away to a corner to do something. Seems good. Um, I'd like to go to our accommodations, please. We are at our accommodations. Are we? Aren't we? But you're like are at, we at the, the bar hotel? right now. Yeah, we're at, at the least bar. one of you oh. at the bar. <laughs> Okay. One's at the bar, the rest are in the lobby. Yeah. Well, I'm going to um, look through I'm going to be papers. like, leave the bottle. Yes. Good Excuse room. me, terribly sorry. Yes. Could we please be directed to our rooms? Oh, yes. I, of, 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 of course, sir. He st starts quite a bit to do it. Aww. And he uh, goes up to... <laughs> A drawer and pulls out the keys and they all have written on them the numbers it says uh pl 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 please sir take the ele elevator over there thank you very much little bit and i will look to see if there is a bellboy a bellboy for what you you, you don't see a bellboy but he, he looks at you as you're looking around so do, do you need help sir, sir? Well, it's just in Dunwall. The hotels have people to carry your luggage for you. <coughs> oh, yes, yes, of course. He needs so all the help. Be me. Ah, and he, he, excellent. he goes to pick up your luggage. Excellent. Do be careful. My, I have some rather delicate items in there. D yes, of course, sir. And like you see him like struggling, they're quite heavy. Aww. I'm gonna pick up my. Uh, I'm gonna take the bottle. I'm gonna pick up my. Uh, um, Army musical my musical case of some sort. Uh, whether it's a guitar or a um, or what's a cello? A cello case. Yeah. Definitely no guns in there. Definitely no guns. No. He plays the cello. <laughs> I play the cello. That's, that's an awfully light cello you've got there. Mm. Yes. Well, when we um, get to the room, be right back. I'm mm -hmm. going to look for. Um, some forgeries that would fit um, tal Talison? Is that what? Yeah. Talison and uh, my purposes for sneaking yeah. in as nobility. So there's a couple of different types of nobility ones and you could always get them tweaked with the forger here on Kanaka. Mm -hmm. But there's the option of if you want to go under the guise of someone else or if you would just like to use your own name. Um, seeing as I am a scholar and I produce research, as in papers and stuff like that, I'm going to change my name slightly. Okay. So Just there in are case. Like, so there's nobility ones, but there's also like academic forgeries. So like if you wanted to be a... There is one for a scholar. Ooh, okay. Well, he, I'd he's, probably Dowd has provided something... ones where all of you could pretty much use your existing your traits because mm -hmm. none of them are outside of the realm of what would yeah. maybe be seen apart from it won't say duelist or sharpshooter it will say god it will just say god yeah mm -hmm. um well i'm gonna go for one that is similar to what i already have but i'm gonna change my name just in case somebody okay. would recognize my name from my research 
do you have a name in mind or Trevor Slattery? Um, I'd be called uh Neva. Okay. Neva um Barkley. Neva Barkley, okay. Mm-hmm. Can you just pop that in chat for me on row twenty just so yeah. I uh... <laughs> yeah. Are we all gonna do that? What names we're going for? I mean, you guys could pick your own names, yeah. unless you're I'm like. Thinking, McCarthy is a big, famous name. Since uh, family, so I won't go with my family name, but I'll stick to me. But switch. <laughs> Bor. <laughs> <laughs> Borogi. My name is Borogi. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with me because I know I'm stupid enough, so I won't remember the name I picked. But uh, can you give me like a common last name or something to use? A common last name. For a guard, that would make sense. I mean, you could get away with like anything, really. Maybe you're like May McKinnon. <laughs> No, I'm McQueen. Manny McQueen. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> I'm not me McCarthy, I'm me McQueen. Okay, you're May McQueen. <laughs> yep. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. Talison, My Queen. Do mm -hmm. you wish to use your own name on your forgeries or do you wish to use a different one? And also, what role? Do you want to be nobility or do you want to be inventor? Because that is an option. On your forged papers. Oh. Uh, well, I was. Is this for the guards? No, this is for no. you. This oh. is. You, you uh, two are gonna. Just a guess. Oh, yes. Yeah. I and would... you suggested that we go in as nobility, yes. but not as ourselves. Yes. Um. I will change. I'll change my name. Okay. Any thoughts on a name? I will go with. I will Four. use. I will use my middle name, so Isambard. Okay. Mm -hmm. You might want to spell uh, it out in the. Uh, I th I think, Jay will knows how to spell Isambard. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in anyway, so everyone else has it. Yes. And then, my surname will be. Faraday. Like that? Yes. Isambard Faraday. Okay. Right. Don't give me any cages. Would, uh... <laughs> so... Ego. Are you going to yeah. be Borogi? <laughs> yes. Okay, you're, Bor you're Borogi. <laughs> I changed my name from Bor and... Igor. Smash Nobody Samuel. Knew. Are you sticking with Samuel or are you going under a different name? Uh, most people call me Stone, so I'm just going to put Stone. S Stone. S, okay. Stone. I mean, it, it needs to have a full name. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Sam Stone. Okay, so you're just going to be Sam Stone. Right. Mm hmm. Okay. So we got Neva Barkley, May McQueen, Isambard Faraday, Borogi. And Sam Stone. Quite exactly. <laughs> so, do we head over to the forgers then? Yeah, I mean, are you all gonna head there? I mean, I could go myself too. I will keep an. Eye I don't want to be seen TV. at the forger if. Uh... So the, oh, the forger is actually located in the dust district. Hmm. Where the do we need papers to get there. are. No, you don't need you don't need papers to get into the dust district. The howlers keep that's it locked down from the overseers. That's about it. Well, shouldn't we all head over? It's not yeah. like uh, we'll be recognized yeah. from yeah. hanging out in the dust district. Plus, I has I have to protect my lady. Thank you, darling. I am. Ob <laughs> I have to because I'm on a contract. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's best if we all go there, just to be safe. Yes. Yes. Did my suitcase arrive 
unmolested. It looks like it was shaken up a tiny bit, but anything inside will be okay. I just imagine I did his like, best. struggling with the bag. Well, I'll if he dropped it, it, if he dropped I'll it, pay... there'd be a bit of an issue. That, that would. I'll oh. pay. I'll, I'll pay him some. I'll give him some money, as the uh, tight inventor's not going to do it. <laughs> I mean, he, he did pay to keep you filled up with drink, but um, yeah, you hand him the money. He's like, oh, oh, th th thank you, sir. Take a swig from my bottle. Tell me, young Some man, what is bus. your name? My, 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 my name, sir? It's I, 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 Oliver Horden. Thank you very much, Oliver. And well done on not dropping my keys. So, thank you, sir. That's high praise. Are we all in the same room or are we in different rooms? Or How, how is it? Was it? Were we like in a suite or something? You each have your own room. Okay. Goodbye, my lover. What? No, but we're heading out to the we're heading out to the forgers now. No, 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 because we have different rooms. I oh, imagine okay. it's like a connecting door. Yes. Yeah, this is Victorian times. So there would be a connecting door so that husband yeah. and wife could sneak. That's in. That's a really good idea. Perhaps you could dress up as a Grand Admiral Thrawn and try and sneak in. Who is second breaky? Who are you? It's Gus. You can't oh, just ask Gus. people who they are. Just call, <laughs> calling Gus out on stream. Regina! You can't just ask people why they're white. I'm sorry, that's all I can think about. <laughs> so, something you'll be aware of about the Dust District, the reason it's called the Dust District, is it is basically constantly like winds of dust coming through. So you might need something to like cover up a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Not like I have a shovel. full. I have my like, cloak. Yeah, that mm -hmm. that'll be sufficient. I have my Inverness cape. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was gonna say both me and Rob would each like the same capes, like walking close behind Jenny. Mm. <laughs> it's gonna look so important. So you're all gonna head there, yeah? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna take the... the goggles. I'm gonna take my goggles off my hat and put them on mm -hmm. my face. And I'll pull okay. out a handkerchief and tie it around my face. Okay. I'm so... always tight lipped. Locking you... my hotel door. Mm -hmm. Yes. Clearly. Yes. Do we have to say that we're gonna lock our door? No. Is that you know? Is that not something is assumed? Also, before I go, I'm gonna quickly fill up my um. Hip flask with some booze. Yeah. You, you, you actually have, like, in your rooms, a pretty big selection that is provided. Wow. Yeah, but it's, the, yeah, but it's going to be the mini bar, so it's all going to be overpriced shit. Oh, it's all included. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that would good. you up real good. I'm sure she did this. Okay, really they're going to have to resupply so... me every day then. Yeah, so you make your way to the Dust District. And how are you all dressed? In clothes? Um, would would have... any of you have actually stood out in the Palace District as not being the sort you'd expect in the Palace District? Uh, I might have been. So how are you dressed? Uh, I mean, uh, I have... Um... I don't know. It's kind of like professor type clothing, but they're not like the cleanliest or like the most fine quality. It's just kind of like it's not rags, yeah. but it's just not finer quality. Yeah. You I mean you But I'd have like a, I'd have like a long and probably yeah. yeah. You might need to dress up a bit more for Mhm. Mm on the on the way back, I'm gonna head to a clothing store and purchase mm -hmm. uh, a nice gown for the evening. Yes, mm -hmm. I'll I will also recommend that we be on the lookout, perhaps for a mask shop. What? Would any of the rest of you stand out in the palace district? Oh no, I fit right in. 
I mean, uh, Bor is like dressed in a three piece suit with a cape, <laughs> so. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay. Uh I, I think I look quite dapper, so no, I don't think I would stand out at all. Do other people think you look dapper? <laughs> Good question. I don't know. <laughs> roll of feet, roll of feet Wait, did you did you have a picture for Sam? I think you did, didn't you? Yeah. Hi, oh, he looks fine. He looks fine. May has a very refined aura about her, but she does have every dress very, like, practical. I sent yeah. a picture in the voice text chat, what I yes. had in mind, but to be fair, that would be too warm, so I don't know how to adjust that for the weather. But she's in the armor, you know? Yes. I would be in a... So I'm wearing what I'm wearing in the picture. Mm-hmm. A suit. Uh, a suit, but it would have a light cream coloured, um, like a beigey coloured Inverness cape over it. Okay. So to combat the dust. So I look all right in the Paris district, but I probably stick out like a sore thumb in the dust yeah. district. So you, you start making your way to the dust district. There's not really any problem with that that you can notice. Unless you wish to roll. Uh, um. Hmm. What? I roll for what? Perception. I would like if, to... if you want to roll to just see if anyone is particularly observing. I do. I would yeah. like to. I would like to do yeah. that. I want to roll. Okay. So. Tell me. Study. Yeah, I mean, it would probably hmm. be study, unless you can somehow yeah. justify something else. Maybe you could justify move, perhaps, for being like move? you walk, yeah. you walk or like stride with purpose and that kind of thing. Yes, um, I and move. then how you, would, whatever style you're doing. I would have like, um, I would have a brand new invention that I have made called sunglasses, or rather dark <laughs> glasses, so I can look around and you cannot see where my eyes are. Okay. Can I say I move swiftly? Yeah. Yes, I am studying every nook and cranny to see if someone is looking. I'm being very careful. So Igbor is just studying boldly. He's like, hmm, is anyone He's watching like, us? Who are you? <laughs> Why are you watching us? Uh, um, I'll probably be moving. I'll probably sorry, be friend. like hugging walls, basically. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> We got two twenties. Oh whoops! Um, oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, that's not the good kind of twenty. No. Turns out I made the black too thick, and now I can't see anything. So twenties <laughs> are complications. Oh. So. I'm about to get mugged. So. I'll resolve the other two first. Mm -hmm. um, well, are you doing anything particular then, Sam? You are hugging the wall? So I've just been quiet. You, I'm just being... To... I'm just... I'm being stealthy and quiet. You're being stealthy. Stealthy and quietly. Yep. Do you want to roll for that then? Sure. So that would be move quietly. Not that for stealth. Be. Uh, there's no stealth. There's no stealth. Unless you have a Sneak focus. In. Yeah, there's a focus called stealth. Yeah, so the focus oh. changes your crit chance. Okay. So whatever your focus is, you put that number. So moving quietly, yeah? That's what yeah, I'm doing, yeah? yeah? And then if you have a focus, you can put that number in when it asks for it. I take it no one else had any focuses to help with it. No, I have acrobatic Quietly. sword and resolve, and I don't think any of that. No. Explosives, firearms. Oh, acrobatics and move swiftly. I mean, you like cartwheeling through. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so we got we. You got a uh, crit there. Ooh. 
Okay, so Igabor, you are studying to yes. see if you notice anyone. You obtained yes. two successes. Um, no one appears to be watching you. Just like straight watching you, people just like looking around as you would normally expect in the street. They're pretty much all minding their own business. Guards are just standing there. They're looking around, but we're not watching you. Good. Should he add one momentum? Oh no, I don't remember no. how momentum works. So okay. you get momentum if you gain more successes than you needed. Yeah. So for, um... for this one, he needed two successes. This is an average. Oh, class. I thought he only needed one. Sorry. No. So zero is simple. You don't really need to roll. One is routine. Two is average. Three is challenging. Four is difficult. And five is daunting. So this is an average task. Okay. Um, Nevi. Mm -hmm. You look around. You got one success. You don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. May. That's you got me. zero successes with a complication. <laughs> So yeah. you can either choose, do you want a complication or do you want to give me two chaos? Complication. Okay. So you are moving swiftly. In fact, mm -hmm. you've said complication. Okay, so I'll, I'll move to Talison then and then we'll do them together, I think. Mm -hmm. So Talison, you also got zero successes and complication. So we've got two complications. Well, no, hang on. Don't I get a pick? Oh, no, sorry, yeah. Do you want chaos or complication? Uh, I want chaos. Okay, you give me two chaos. Oh my god. He already has ten. Now he's had. Now he has twelve. Well, I, I got a use it. I ain't been using it so far. But that's, that's not been an opportunity to really. Yeah. Well, I could. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, so we'll have one complication. Mm -hmm. And then Sam got. Two successes, with one being a critical, so actually he got three. So Sam gains one momentum for the whole group. So everyone can put nice. their momentum to one. So it, it's a shared pool. You don't have one each. You just have one between oh. you. And we don't it's start me. with any momentum? No. So what momentum lets you do is you can either, well, you can either spend it immediately or you can save it for later. And it can be used to buy additional D20s for when you're rolling. You can create a truth, so something that is true about the current scene. Mm -hmm. Or an NPC or something like that. Or you can ask a question. Um, a question costs one, the dice costs one, to create a truth it costs two, so you can't you can't do that. Mm -hmm. But at any point any of you could take that momentum and just I, I won't end the scene either, so you won't lose it. Because normally uh -huh. you lose one momentum at the end of each scene, but we're currently going to stand this one for a bit. Um, but so, when a time arises, anyone could use that. Uh, let me just quickly note that I have 12 chaos. Okay, so, your complication, May. You yes. are moving swiftly mm -hmm. through the street. Mm-hmm. You're not really, you're not paying attention. And everyone else was kind of like, everyone was looking around. But someone does notice you seemingly moving with a bit more purpose than they would expect towards the Dust District. Uh-huh. And one of the uh, Sikonian guard walks up to you and says, Halt. Mm-hmm. What's your business? I stop. I say, no. Oh, hello there, officer. Officer, would that be correct? Yeah. Hello there, officer. Um, what's my business? What do you mean? You seem to be in quite a hurry. Oh, yes. <laughs> I step in. You caught me. I'm very hungry, actually. I've been... I'm, I'm, I'm in... I, I, I step in during this yeah. and I say, hi, this is um, my personal bodyguard. 
you have to apologize for not being so careful walking down the street. But as she said, she hasn't had anything to eat because she's been busy keeping me from trouble. So you'll have to excuse us. And I'm going to use um, talk. Yeah. In what way are you talking? Would you describe that boldly? Uh, um, cleverly. <laughs> okay. I was going to do it like, oh, sorry, I need to go to the bathroom. And <laughs> I'm... Boldly. Would you say it's I persuading? Think, yes, I would say it's persuading. Okay. Uh, so talk cleverly and to please oh lord you got a double oh, you got a crit. crit okay Wait. so this will be a contested action so Ooh, the guard is going to, to... The can guard I assist is... yes so you can roll 1d20 do I just roll 1d20? As yeah, I just do 1d20 normally. Okay. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, how, how are you doing that? That would be a relevant question to ask. Because uh, that would determine your score for it. I guess I talk boldly. So you talk boldly. So you, that That's was... 10. Okay. Talk 5 boldly, 5. Yep. So the Grand Guard is going to... What's he gonna do? No, there's, there's, there's like if with that, there's no point because the, the guard can't beat it unless <clears throat> you can spend some of your chaos to, yeah. uh, you know, generate those successes. So the guard is going to study carefully what you're saying Ooh. to see if he believes you. Yeah, I'm not lying. She is hungry. We haven't eaten. She's always hungry. Uh, since the last meal on the boat. And <clears throat> I am going to spend free chaos to give him two extra to die. He is, he is not having it today. He is having it. He, he genuinely like, he's like, you know what? You know what? You, you're right. I just realised, I, I literally just walked without being seen. I've just walked <laughs> without being spotted. I just realised, that was excellent. This ain't ring quest. And yeah, I didn't so need a bush. You did not need a bush. So you, yeah, you talk this guy down. He's like, you know what? Sorry, miss. I'll, I'll leave you to it. And he goes oh. back to his post. Thank God for that. Thank you, love. <laughs> that was close. May says, I don't know what to do with that. Grand guards, let's do a half asleep, like. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I you just make it. I didn't know it was a crime to walk. <laughs> <laughs> Jaywalk in my street. <laughs> yeah, so you're making your way to the dust district. There's yeah. no further interruptions. You get there. It is just as dusty as the stories say if not more so there is like yeah. there's pretty much like there's like dust clouds everywhere Ooh. um it keeps blowing through you probably have to like stabilize mm -hmm. yourself a bit but you do see through all the dust there is not guards standing on every corner but i mean they could be guards but mm. you would gather these are Members of the Howlers. Howling mad. Do you I wish to just go straight to the forges, or do you want to talk to a Howler? I want to. Okay. Whatever you want to, Nevi. And so you're all wearing like your attire, yeah? Yeah. Uh... I've got a shawl covering my half my face and my yeah. hair and stuff. Okay. Mm. <laughs> is it going to wear his protective gear? Has he got his PPE? Oh, sorry? 
Have you got your personal protective equipment? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I think I will follow as well, and I will stay very close. You, to you'll me. be you'll be coughing up dust otherwise. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, so, I'll have something. Uh, as you start walking towards the howler through the dust, mm -hmm. it turns over to you, and he spots Samuel. So you're wearing your goggles, yes. James? Is James I, I think he froze. Is James oh, froze? James. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, am I wearing my goggles? <laughs> James, come back to us. I just thought oh. it was like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I could have sworn I saw him blinking. Yeah, me too. <laughs> he, he is Drax from Guardians. If he doesn't move, you can't see him. <laughs> Okay, so what I said doesn't quite work when James isn't here, but... <laughs> 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 Alright, he's going to... Just... Yeah, he'll probably disconnect in a sec, and the overlay will get all messed up, but I can't do much about that. You want uh, to take a break? <laughs> we could take another break. Oh, yeah. just... I mean, when he disappears on the overlay, it gets messed up. We'll take another break quick anyway. So we'll be back in a few. Hopefully, James will be back too. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. <laughs> what did I miss? You died. Oh, We're back. We're back. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, my, my internet conked out, so I couldn't do much. So, Samuel ran away to get alcohol. But then yeah, then he's like, oh, wait, 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 no, I've got enough. And he comes back. <laughs> So, so, so what you missed, Samuel, was you were going up to this howler and he turned around and saw you and thought you looked like an overseer because you had goggles on. And through the dust, okay. he couldn't tell that wasn't a mask. Um, And so he immediately pulled his blade out and is ready to go. But then you ran back to the hotel to get more alcohol. Now he's come back. So You're like, you know like what? I've got enough. Way. I changed my mind. And you just take a swig from your hip flask. Through the, through the um, handkerchief, yeah. Yeah, through the handkerchief. It's all. <laughs> so <laughs> what the what the himself with alcohol? <laughs> so. Well, that's a way to go. Who, are you trying to persuade Vern? Yeah. Livy. Yeah. Okay. Give me your yeah. roll. Uh, talk. I would be assisting. Yeah, so I, I said before I do 1d20, just do normal roll and I'll ignore the second dice. It's easier that way. So how are you trying to persuade? Mm -hmm. mm. That's... Why am I rolling so badly? Mm. It's the nature of it. I mean, you could re-roll. No. I mean, sure, I'll re-roll with my void points. Do I just press it in again? You have to spend points to re-roll? Yeah. So you can spend one void point and it will let you re-roll any number of dice you just really rolled. Is it really worth it? Okay, we'll try, we'll try with the failure then. Or is, um... You gonna assist? Is anybody going to assist me? Anyone going to assist? Uh, I, will, assist. I will stand behind you <laughs> and I will hold held, most probably because yeah. it's Igor uh, the hand on the sword. Same. I'm also standing looking very like very ready to fight. And with one hand I just do this with my moustache. <laughs> I so... will reach into my pocket. Uh-huh. And I will just gently... We need to descale this, not escalate it. No, I'm here to protect you. I'm here to protect will... you. This is dangerous. I will... I will uh, look at them and go, we do not have any quarrel with you. This is not an overseer. This is a drunk and a... Well, just a drunk, really. 
So do you I'm not drunk. Fitness? How dare you? How dare you say that? I'm not drunk. Sorry, tired and emotional. So g give me your assist rolls, whoever is assisting. Uh, so I am doing talk. Uh, could I say cleverly? Because I'm... That's yeah, what I did. You know. <coughs> Should I do moves? You can also gain a d20 by spending momentum. I feel like I should probably do like move <laughs> boldly. Yes. Or maybe forcefully rather. You I could. Got success. Or, or, yeah, I think it's boldly. So we've got one success, so you're going to assist as well? Um, what should my focus? Unless you have something specifically for the focus. No, I'm not. So just do your normal roll, Lily. Oh, I, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. Two dice or one dice? Um, two, two dice or one dice? It's a five. It back. doesn't matter. We'll, we'll take the first dive. It does anyway. Okay. Okay, so you didn't get one. But May did. And Talison did. So, Nevi talking didn't quite do it, but they saw they saw May and heard Talison's words and were like, okay. Okay, and you're probably right. And he looks at you like he's clearly outnumbered as well. He, he puts his blade back. There's says, a smart lad. What can or I less. do you for? Well, we're um, new in town, and um, can see that. <laughs> and. Um, I assume you're part of the Howler... Howlers. You guessed right, you did. Mm-hmm. I was wondering if, um... I've heard a little bit about the... political situation, and, uh... I'd like to hear the Howlers' side of it. Uh, yeah, but... We don't like them overseers, as... You probably just saw. Yes, that's quite evident. But, uh... Like I'd like to maybe if there's anybody in charge I could speak to. Yeah, of course. Let me bring you to Paolo. Okay, straight to Paolo. Damn. You you okay. you look like good folk and you don't seem like you're harmless. And, We're mean, the best good of luck. folk and good I luck I put that. this I put this gigantic smile on my face. They were the best <laughs> folk. I put back the grenade that I had in my pocket. <laughs> I, I also lower my sword and follow. He um, says, oh, by the way, name Jimmy. Jimmy Toll. Jimmy Toll. Well, Pleasure to meet you, name. Jimmy. My name is Igor Bor. Igor Bor. How was your real you? name? Your idiot. Uh, oh, no, he spotted me when I got three successes hiding. I don't know, you might know me from my various contract work. I am very good, you know, at what I do. Well, you were hiding in the um, but, Palace District, not the Dust District. Oh, okay. But yeah, um, yeah it, it just takes you to Paolo's office. One of the uh, buildings in the District. Quite a few howlers around. But he goes up and uh Boss knock, knock on someone's here to see you. Store. And you just hear let him in. Yeah, Lex organization. Mm-hmm. I, I'm 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 walking in front and I kind of bow my head slightly to be mm -hmm. courteous and um I say Paolo, hello. 
I'll be behind May, who's probably behind. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, Perfect. I'm also doing Hello, the very have we first met first before? Part. No, we haven't met before, but I'm very interested uh, in um, pleasure. the political, what should we call it, climate here. And um, ah, you I'd mean like to get to know. Yes. And I'd like to get a bit more information from both sides. We're traveling. We're not from here. We're from wherever it was we came from. <laughs> I can see that. Way gone. Way gone. Well, you're not we're from all the way, way gone, from but way gone. You might be, but no, well. I'm probably not from Waygon. Hmm. We traveled all the way from Waygon, and um, quite the journey. I've yes, it was. I've heard quite a bit of stuff about so the came across hmm. the empire. For what reason? Let us know if you're concerned. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Isambard Faraday. Give me a talk forcefully. I, yeah. I was going to say, like, we're oh, here yeah. to I mean, I, I think that that has to be talk forcefully. I don't think, or maybe boldly. Yeah. Yeah. Boldly or forcefully. Uh, both are equal. Uh, I'm going to spend my void points so I don't get stabbed. So I get three die. It's okay, we can just cover up the situation. Talk. Go with forcefully. I'll assist. You can't, um, you can't nope. use it to gain a die. Oh. With a void point, but you can force it to be a critical. So, I mean, that's, that's strictly speaking better anyway. It okay. is. I can also assist. You could. You could. I mean, but roll anyway. I want to and... like, interrupt, though. Yeah. Then you can choose to use your board point or not. Yeah. You might get two successes forced. anyway. Yes. This is assuming it's a difficulty, too. I'm actually not sure if I have to explicitly tell you what difficulty it is. Uh, the thing is, I got a nine on one of them. Oh, damn! Okay, that you was got a my nine, so you did get one, and you yes. okay? You got three successes. Got two from Jenny. <clears throat> um, so we don't need the the two. Does it work with assists gaining momentum? I mean, it depends on the difficulty anyway of the task. Yeah, but I mean, if it was a two, then we should have one extra, right? If it was a two. What is it? I'll I'll say it was a two. I'll be generous. So you gain so one momentum. So we get a momentum. Yay. Um, I, 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 I won't actually require Paolo to roll this one. I'll be extra generous here because... I don't want to just put all of my dice on the Paolo. Um, there's, can I interject? Yeah. I want to say, there's no need to be rude. We're here to help our friends. I've And I've, as far as I'm concerned, I have heard it's very important for you to help people as well. Uh, do, do I know this friend? Uh, I don't think so. He's, he's also from... Um, where are we from? Oh, that's probably... going well, let's, just say yeah. they are a gentleman... let's just say they are someone who perhaps mm -hmm. it is best to say that you know, but not be tied to. True. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what do you want to hear from me? I want to know what is actually going on with the duke and this new person being put in power liam and you say liam and he just like spits on the floor <laughs> i take it there's no uh friendship there never liked him he's, he's one of the overseers and now that he's That's... getting that fancy schmancy promotion 
was for all of us. But well, as yeah, far as I understood it, you used to work together, you and Liam. Was, we, in cooperation with the Duke. But mm -hmm. this would put Liam above. This would give him direct control of the Abbey. Hmm. And, and so why, here, out of curiosity, your does it... Sorry. Yeah. No, no, you go on. I was about to ask, why does this affect you, out of curiosity? Forcing their beliefs on us. Kicking us out of our houses. Doing searches on good people. That sounds mm. like they're abusing their own people. You try you to never really that. trust. You can never really trust religious circles. Bloody mm. Luddites, the whole of them. I think we'd also like to know our captain told us on the way over that the Duke's behavior has changed quite radically. Yeah, I mean, I'm that's the whole reason we started cooperating with him. It's just suddenly out of nowhere. He just, as if he's a different person. Mm -hmm. It's oh. uh, quite interesting. It's a bit convenient, isn't it? It's like a different person. Mm. Would you have anything to do with that? What, the Duke? Mm hmm. Oh, you No. Pr promise nothing. Hmm. Mm. Well. But it worked out for all of us <laughs> until Liam got this promotion, as said. Are you planning on taking action somehow? You plan on ratting us out to the overseers? No. No, let's just say we're also planning to take action in our own way. We're, so to speak, we're looking about, we're looking to find who we should be siding with. Uh, I've got nothing to do with them. I'm going to step away from them. <laughs> from me? Yeah. Okay. I can I can only speak for myself, of course, seeing uh, Stone's uh, disapproval. But um, I it's myself, so personally, uh, I'm quite intrigued by what's going on here, and I'm trying to figure out uh, where I should be putting my efforts. She speaks for me too. And for what? me. What? Okay, fair enough. Uh, no part. <laughs> I'm going to go stand outside. Oh. Uh, yeah, but... <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, so, uh, Pound's like, well, that, that was awkward. Um, <laughs> he's quite the awkward him. fellow. Forgive him. He, uh... he has his Has ghosts. he been drinking? Like, he, has his he, hasn't, he hasn't fucking stopped. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's the problem. <laughs> Yeah, that's well, the problem. He doesn't well, just drink. He never stops. <laughs> I I hate to be rude and uh, assume that you are not a man of culture. Have you ever heard of the play With Nail and I? Of course. Uh, <laughs> not you. I, I, I think I have. Well... That is the inspiration for With Nail. Ah. Mm -hmm. I understand. <laughs> Clearly. We all understand. <laughs> the, man has, the man has more booze than blood in his veins. <clears throat> yeah. So, so yes, on to the matter then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This Liam fellow, yeah. is he of the sort of character that you can trust or distrust with I the great responsibility? Buys him. Has he done anything in particular? Well, the overseers are again at war with us. How? What have they done? Trying to relinquish control of this uh, district. Take it back from us. Hmm. Let's see. And if Liam gets his promotion, 
he'll be able to enforce that on the whole empire. That doesn't seem great. <clears throat> we believe in the good of the people and doing things for the people. Mm-hmm. The overseers on the mean... Abbey, they care about themselves and spreading their agenda. I was going to say, it seems me is someone who distrusts authority and believes she should always help others and help the people. She si like greatly sides and empathizes with. I mean, so man. is the uh, so is um. I can't even remember my name now. What? Nevi. Nevi. <laughs> Nevi. <laughs> yeah. Nevi is also inclined to be more for um. This yeah. sort of uh, engagement mm. don't really like the authoritarian types taking over and gaining exactly. too much power. Mm. Um, Talison would probably be against them because they seem like the sort of people that despise progress. Mm. And these people are talking my language about. Basically, I'm listening to them. And I'm listening to their communist manifesto and believing that it's. The way forward. So, so do you think you can help us? It depends. It depends. I do not wish to hurt anyone in the sense. And we do have our own mission. Oh, don't thinking. worry. There's the overseers are not I... innocent. I think what we would like to avoid is bloodshed. Yes. But bloodshed does understandable. Cause but that's not to say we can't help you. If okay. it happens to align with our own goals. How do we I We can help know... each other out. But what if our goals don't align? Are you going to Okay, so uh, out of character, out of char uh -huh. out of character. The howlers they don't hate the outsider's mark, right? Not that you're aware of. Not that I'm aware of. And the overseers definitely do. Yep. Right, okay. So what I do is I take off my glove, my gloves that I'm always wearing to cover up my outsider's mark. And I, and I show it and I say, you know, there's no way I could side with the overseers on this. Ah. I too have a hand like that. But it is not my own. Oh, what do you mean? I put my hand on my sword. Close friend. Someone close to you, I assume. Not quite. Or perhaps. Do you mean that he target. he's cut off a hand from somebody who has an outsider's mark? That's what I assume. Yeah. Are you asking him that? Same. That's no, I don't. Mean. He meant that no. they have, he has a friend or he knows someone who is trying to help. Okay. Did I just, did I just fuck up? I'm gonna, uh, Igor will be like, I hope we don't have a problem here. Uh, right. okay. that, that, that hand. You've been far too loose-lipped with people and you don't, yes. you don't know who they are. The problem is you're, you're, you're which is why Stone stepped out because I've got nothing to do with this. Okay, well, this no, is my character. I, I assure you, yeah. we do not have a problem with the Void. Okay, good. I think I just came into <laughs> possession of something that aids me too. Good. And would that be a sieve, severed hand? <laughs> he just he looks at you and just uh, taps, taps I mean, inside. guys, I think he got off a hand of an outsider's <laughs> Just to let you know. You're so cute. Igor, you have all the subtlety of a brick at times. I love Igor. Thank, yeah. Thank you. Before I agree or disagree to helping you, I want to know what your plan is. We must remove Liam. Remove? Yes. 
and that means from power. <laughs> There's a few ways you could go about it, but mm -hmm. one would be to kill him. Not but so I... preferable. Yeah, appreciate that. Is there the some next sort of would be to bring him to me. Possible. And I will dispose of him appropriately. Dead or alive? I mean, you said you didn't want to kill him. <laughs> you don't ever know. <laughs> he looks at you Let and he's us... like, ah, ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I will have more contracts after this work. I mean, that can be arranged for, perhaps. Or we could help them get in to do their job. If you could allow, if you could help us get into the masquerade that's coming up, then. As long as we, you can. We, we wish no ill not... will to most of the citizens, but any overseers. Mm -hmm. No, and... no bloodshed, no bloodshed. It's got to be some kind of a compromise there. There can't, there can't be bloodshed. It's, it's probably best you don't let my boys in then, because if they, if they get in. Mm -hmm. Well, perhaps yeah, we could uh, get. Uh, Liam out of power some other way. Do you have any ideas? Scandal. Scandal. Frame him. There's, there's <gasps> For theft! Any... Thievery! Sorry. It would have to be something quite high profile. Mm. What if he stole something from the Duke? That could work. But they are quite close now. Friendships are fickle. They tend to change with the tide, especially if something mm -hmm. of great value has been removed from one and is suspected of being with the other. Guys, out of character, I kind of just want to let them in and let there be chaos. Because if they let them in and they go on a murder spree, then it's going to be chaos and then we can more easily steal what we want. <laughs> Yeah. But what about Dowd saying, you know, I'd prefer no bloodshed? I mean, well, I am drawing the <laughs> It would be more discreet way of stealing it, since it would just disappear. Yeah, everyone's murdering each other. Yeah, like, no one's gonna notice. That's the perfect distraction. Right? But I suppose what is, it depends on what kind of end you're trying to achieve do you want to stop liam becoming high overseer as well why not but he's i mean he's quite a skilled fighter a couple howlers I... ain't gonna be much against him oh I, I got it i got it well the scandal might be the best then can't be like you could do both but yeah mm -hmm. if he was perverted would he not be chosen if he was perverted mm -hmm. Yes. Well, if he had certain tendencies or something like that, you know. It's a religious thing, right? Perhaps. That could. Like if it's show... Yeah. Or like he's a drunk or something. He did drugs. We can leave a bunch of What's drugs in What's wrong with being a drunk? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Just I shout thought you were standing door. outside to. I thought you were standing outside to keep guard. Howlers are like, can I have some of that? And you're like, no. Those are my whiskey. <laughs> I'll unscrew my own flask and offer him a swig. <laughs> yeah, so okay. what are your... Who's... Three thoughts? pets, right? Let them in, scandal, or uh, capture slash murder. Or you go with the overseers. <laughs> Or you I mean, don't do other, either. I mean, there might be other options as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
They could just blow up the cliff and then dive on the wreckage. <laughs> An accident. Yes, no, no bloodshed. Yeah. Why not just, why not, why not burn down the entire city? That's an I idea. don't think Big that's accident. a favor. <laughs> you joke. Uh, you joke. Tanison actually considers that for a moment. <laughs> it's nice to so? consider. So do you have a set answer for Paolo or do you need to think on it? I want to help him, but I don't know how. Um, what? I what? think... I think I just kind of say, well, we need to think about how we should do this. We can't just take quick action, just promise things that we can't deliver. But I think we are willing to help. The question is how. Mm -hmm. Who has to appoint Liam? Is it the Duke? No. The, the Duke has nothing to do with it. It's decided by a council of other members, apart of the overseers. Can we decide who goes opinion? up to the rank. And they would be at this masquerade? Unlikely. They'll be scattered around the whole empire. But if someone were to let slip that the one had misbehaved, yeah, it would, would need some pretty them. concrete evidence. With concrete proof. How about while is his like um, office? Is that in the palace? His rooms, his chambers. What the um, limbs? Yeah. No. Okay, because I was saying. At the same time as we're sneaking into the palace, we might as well plant some evidence. He probably uses same... one of the rooms, like kind of as an office, but his official one is not in. I mean, if we can get to him, we could just make him disappear. Just take him somewhere and ditch him. I mean, it, it, <clears> put like, him somewhere else. You could, you could take him to Paolo. Yeah, we dump it there. But then again, we don't know what. I'm not there, I'm showing up. We could take him to. Our main contract worker. What would our employer have to do with this? <laughs> Why would you need him? Like... Have any of you played like uh, Dishonored or watched it? Yeah. No. So usually there's a there's a the the stealth option is usually like um, almost like justification for what they've done like. Like if they were like hoarding hundreds of slaves, basically, when you take them out, you basically send them off as a slave, like to be a slave themselves and stuff. It's like that sort of justice. Like we, it's like uh, an eye for an eye, but yeah, poetic justice towards the uh, the person. So we might need to dig around a bit more to find like dirt on what what's going on and and stuff like that, and then figure out a just I like that yes like we that. could look around more so let's dig some dirt in Liam well maybe both of them to see, see what's going on maybe we can find out who's who's replaced the uh, the other chap mm -hmm. also so... yes even if we stop Liam from getting like but I'm not there maybe. I'm standing outside Swigging, like, swigging my drink. Even if we stop him, I mean, there's going to be someone else who took over and become high overseer, so what does it really shame to get rid of Liam? Yes, it, what? it would take system. quite some months to appoint a new one. A no one yeah. was quite near as popular as Liam. I, I just got this uh, idea by myself. I thought about it. You we should probably... he, he looks at you and he's like, eh? Eh? Unfortunately, it doesn't involve killing him. We could look into his background and see if we can find stuff to frame him for. Everyone has skeletons in their closet, yes. 
it, it would have to be something quite notable. The overseers in general are not known for being nice people. As you said when you saw us, we are new in the town, we don't really know a lot. What are the rules for being an overseer? What's the religion like? Is it like monastic? Is it... You know, a celibacy a thing? Yes, I'm asking you now. So... The universe is unknowably vast and swarming with all manner of dangerous spirits and forces, most of which are hostile to man's existence. This is what the Abbey of Every, Every Man believes, and their primary purpose is to stand against what they deem to be strange or unnatural, the prime representation of which is seen in the Outsider. They are tasked with officiating marriages, setting the calendar, and organising even kind of talk, uh, celebrations. These civil matters allow them to weave themselves into the fabric of society, which adds numbers to their ranks and allows them to spread the fear of all that's different and all that goes against the norm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I listened. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's so nothing unlike the organisation itself. These teachings discuss controlling impulses and understanding the severity of reckless action and thought. Those who break these tenets are or are seen cavorting with the occult or often dealt horrible punishments. There's quite a bit on them, but yeah. Okay. So it might take more than just catching them in the middle of some hanky-panky to... Yeah, they have to follow their sacred strictures. <laughs> and do we know what those are? So there are seven strictures. Mm. Yeah, I'm asking all the hard questions. Come on, GM. It doesn't say wow. with, with, with strictures. <laughs> <laughs> also, May wants to question the thing that you said before. Like, uh, what do they expect? Like, even if we were to get rid of Liam, how would this change anything, considering they would just appoint a new one? It will take from time to elect a new one. And then what? I don't like to let a man die if nothing, nothing will come from it. If we don't fight against change that is worse for all of us, then... But how is this going to change anything? Should we just allow them to continue as they are? No, but I think... A different way of change. I am open to suggestions. <laughs> Kill them all. <laughs> As he says that. Mm -hmm. So he has a window behind him. Mm -hmm. He's going to get shot. As he says that. A crossbow bolt comes flying through the window. Hits him straight in the back of the head. Oh, shit. And he drops down dead. After a moment, his body starts to act strange and dissipates into a swarm of rats. And they yeah. all run out of the room. That's an assassin with a like a mark of power or something like that. And that is where we'll end it. Okay. Okay. Hell yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? That's means the they're fucking evil doctor. usually. It means they've got high chaos in them, I think. I I, I don't he, I he's, mean it's been he, a long time he's, since he's not part <laughs> vermin. He's not like He's not Skaven, don't worry. What? Yes, yes. What's a, what's a Skaven? <laughs> but yeah, so... Is it because we obvious... dragged this up too long? Is that why you killed him? <laughs> he turned into rats. Mm, okay. That doesn't mean he's dead, does it? Pretty sure. I mean... Get shot in if... the head and die. Yeah, but if you turn into rats... 
If I turn into a rat, I'm not sure if I'm alive anymore. <laughs> oh no, it wasn't one rat, it was many rats. Oh, it was a fuck storm. me. He made a horcrux. <laughs> Damn. Maybe it's, 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 yeah, may, maybe it's that hand he's talking about. Yeah, it's most probably that thing. Okay. Yeah, awesome. so obviously didn't quite end up getting even close to <laughs> the whole thing planned, but that's Sorry. the nature. I mean, like, yeah. it wouldn't have been done in. It, it, it probably was like a six hour thing for how much I wrote, so. Maybe longer, I don't know. I can't base one shots. But um, <laughs> hopefully, people had fun. Yeah. I hope you guys had I fun. Loved it. I did. It was good. Thanks, Wait, Joel. Except for my internet issues uh, midway yeah. through. Apologies for having to grab dinner in the middle of the session. Okay. I got two clips out of it. Oh, I get to have well, dinner soon. <laughs> and hopefully, uh, people might want to play again. Yes, yeah. when? When? I want to do this. We got to see when people are free, I guess. Well, you know, I've got no likes, so... Yeah, but you're busy mm -hmm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Not this James... coming Friday. James is busy Thursday. Sat I prefer... Saturday. Monday. I mean, yeah, I have work Fridays. Um, Monday, Tuesday. I guess Sunday could be... Three? No, Call of Cthulhu. Unless we did it during the day. But, but yeah, we'll, we'll work something out. We'll see. Are we going to end without singing Happy Birthday on this one? No, I was about to start singing. <laughs> oh my <laughs> fucking god. I'm too, I'm too tired. I'm going to I will then. I'm too I will tired. Do. Happy birthday, birthday to Jenny. Come, Come on. on. And a two, and a one, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, 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 birthday to you. Happy birthday, J Wall. My tonight is drinking. Oh, did you sing it? I, did you sing it? I, I, I didn't hear that awful out of tune. I mean, it's not the worst birthday song I've ever heard, but that's true. It's not James. It's not singing. far from it. Well, that's why a I didn't sing. Oh wait, wait you didn't hear it? Okay, let me. Happy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so let's do our roundup. Um, yeah, I mean, Cam, is there anything you wish to promote? Where can people find you? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you can find me in j -Wall's Discord channel. You can find me on Twitter at CLH Harrison. You can find me in various streams, uh, chatting to various people. Um... Yeah, that's about it. I uh, most of the time I will be GMing because uh, once again I have no life. <laughs> so yes, uh, in terms of a potential charity, uh, I would very much like to promote something a bit dear to me. I would like to promote um, UNESCO. Um, because they actually are doing a great job looking after our past and making sure that, you know, we're able to see where we came from. Um, so, and they generally try to do a lot of good work in preserving some of the more important structures and even some of the less important structures of every nation in the world. Nice. Sounds good. I have to say, I love the fact that Cam said, yeah, I have no life, and you went, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Well, how do you answer that? How do you answer that? When you know it's true. Yeah, you do. Your life is GMing. Oh. Yikes, yikes, yikes. 
Yeah, you... uh, he doesn't GM for me. I have to GM for him. <laughs> Category G. Yes, there's G. Uh, yeah, Lily. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anything to promote? Where uh, do people find you? Etc. Etc. Uh, um, you can find me anywhere, but you can go follow Jenny's Instagram. No. And, and commission her because she does great artwork, and I love her. So, so follow Jenny's Instagram, whatever. It, I don't know. That's I don't okay. Remember. I'll I'll get to it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jill already and, got to uh, it. I dropped that link. And, and UNICEF is a good charity. Cause mm -hmm. children. Okay. Yeah. Jen? Um, yeah, you can find me <laughs> on my Instagram as per posted already. Mm -hmm. um, again. <laughs> you can also find me on Twitter, also Pale Fires. Uh, yeah, you got it. Damn, that's quick. Um, yeah, I'm a digital artist, so I'm going to be doing more commissions in the future when I finish the ones I have. She's yeah. awesome. And, uh, yeah, if you want to support something, support one of the ones that they've already mentioned. Okay. Rob. Oh, okay. You can find me absolutely nowhere. I am without a track. You cannot track <laughs> me down. And, uh, as of supporting someone, uh... You can support JLo Skull Funding because mm -hmm. it's a very nice gesture to do. And I was actually mm -hmm. gonna go tomorrow to put some money on my credit card so that I can. Don't make me cry on stream. It it's your birthday. <laughs> At least cry when it's your birthday. <laughs> but yeah, uh, help out JLo. It's. Yes! It's cool. I agree. Okay. <laughs> Uh, James. What am I doing? Promote yourself. Oh, uh, you can find me at James Corp. Uh, or twitch.tv forward slash James Corp. Um, I do RPGs most of the time. Um, I've got some big things coming up. We've got a Delta Green game on the 20th of June. Which includes Shane Ivey, who is the right or the creative Delta Green, Seth Skorskowski, who's a big YouTube um, reviewer, Bud RPG Review, which is uh, 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 bigger than me, but he's uh, another RPG reviewer on YouTube, and we've got uh, Pookie from Riotless Reviews, who does who's, who does like a blog post, um, and that's happening on the twentieth of next month. Next week we're doing a play test or for a kickstarter called the tr the the troubleshooters, troubleshooters which is like which is a sort of a tintin inspired rpg with like similar like inspired art of the same caliber and it looks really fun so i'm really looking forward to that that's next saturday and then we've got um death watch on thursday and um i'm currently looking for players to do like some other games. So, if you're interested in doing RPGs and willing to try some games out, um, yeah, uh, I'm always looking, and um, I'm happy to take people. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Any cause you want to promote? Oh shit! Um, Bud's done a um, Bud's done a a review of oh, Toon the, uh, for for one, um he, uh... for Red Nose Day. So. I mean, if you want to have a laugh at someone trying to turn a page in a book with Mickey Mouse hands on, like the giant <laughs> Mickey Mouse hands, then I, I, I suggest going to watch that. And if you want to, throw a little bit of money towards charity because not many people have... I mean, he's hit the target, but not as many people as he had hoped had uh, supported the charity. And it's for Red Nose Day, which supports... which comic relief that supports, like, charities all over the world. Um Aww. Mm. Okay, and uh, I'm Jay Wall, as you're aware. You can find me very rarely mm -hmm. here on Twitch. Money. You can find me 
on my Discord. It helps if I write the correct command. I, yeah, there we go. Took a bit. Yeah, you can follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, follow me on YouTube before I'm going to upload the VOD of this. I will fix up when we had the issues. <laughs> <laughs> and, Sorry uh, again. Yeah, that's okay. No, Stuff I happens. won't apologize. Don't really have much more to say, to be fair. It's, as Rob said, if you want to, you can support my Just Giving. If you want to yes. support something else close to me that isn't me directly, you could support my other Just Giving, which is for Battersea at Dogs and Cats Home, in memory <laughs> of my dog. There's that one. Um, yeah, I mean, if you enjoyed and wanted, again, like, lend me an extra hand, you could always subscribe, donate, give me bits. See, yeah. do you find this really awkward as an English person, like asking for like, I was just please subscribe to me, please support me on Twitch. Give me your hard what does that have to do money. with being an English person? <laughs> it's so awkward. I find it really awkward. Isn't it awkward for anyone? No matter. It's probably you're awkward from. for anyone. Yeah. I think Americans find it easy. <laughs> just generalizing. I don't know. It's Actually, really no, weird. Americans are even worse apparently when it comes to asking money. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah so... go uh, go support J Wall on uh, on um, what's it called Patreon, and you get yeah, stuff yeah. there as well. And also support him on here if you can afford it. Mm -hmm. I can't afford I anything at the moment. How... I'm furloughed. How your birthday's been going so far? It's it's been a birthday. As <laughs> yeah, it's not super eventful. Poetic words. I'll take them to my heart. Yeah, I think last year I bought. Did I buy you? I bought you. What did I buy you last? I bought you something last year, Star didn't Wars? I? Or was that year before? Was it was Star Wars? Well, that was Christmas, wasn't it? Burning Wheel. Did I buy you Burning Wheel? Maybe. I think so. I don't know. I can't remember. It's a possibility. I can't do it this year. I don't I really remember buying it myself. Anything. So probably. That's fine. Yeah. I uh, didn't have a pizza today. I am. Good. <laughs> Let's go find someone to raid quick. Any suggestions? Uh, is yes, anyone actually Kitty? streaming? There's a few people streaming. I think Kitty just uh, started up. So oh my god, there's a guy called Jaywall. He's streaming. I hardly ever see him streaming. <laughs> Just raid him. Oh wait, he says you can't raid yourself. Oh damn. <laughs> I don't actually see again. anyone streaming. I don't have any suggestions. Uh, Katie's playing yeah, Assassin's Creed 1. I think she's nearly finished with it. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! She's not appearing well, in my... Go, go, go! Let's Doppelganger. Let's go. <laughs> Raid. Yeah, so... Is she still live? Yes. Yeah, so. She's playing Assassin's Creed, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's still live, yeah. 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 Okay. Go over there, just spam whatever you want. You know, whatever it first comes to mind, you just spam that in chat, whether it's an emote, whether it's text, whether it's you're going to buy dog food, whatever it is, spam it. Sounds mm -hmm. Yeah. See everyone over there? Helps if I actually press enter on the raid command. There we go. Thank you, we'll Jaywall. We'll come back to this soon. Yes. And maybe other Thank games. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I do want to do Drifter again at some point. Yes. It's very different now. Oh. And uh, yeah, plenty of other games. But yeah. See you all later. TY for playing all five of you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. My pleasure. TY for watching. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Yeah.